So if you guys are like me and you're thinking of picking up a new Mac Mini M4 Pro and you do video editing and content creation like myself and you're just kind of wondering, hey, how does this thing work? Is it any good? Is it fast? Is it worth the money? In today's video, I'm going to do a bunch of real world testing and let's figure out if it's worth the investment. So I want to do a quick video render test. This is 4K 60. The content is filmed at 150,000 megabits a second. And just to show you guys, when we start the playback, it plays, it plays everything back, the timelines in 4K as well. And it does all transitions just as fast as a rendered video. So the power of this thing is absolutely incredible. You can see I've got my video transitions and everything all set up. And compared to the PC that I came from, which was a, it was about three years old. I spent like three grand on it. I was running a RTX 2080 Super. Um, I had a Crosshair Hero 8 with an AM4 socket running a Ryzen 3700X with 3200 speed, 32 megabyte RAM. So I spent a decent amount of money in my son's MacBook first MacBook with M1. I used that for video editing one time and it just destroyed my fully built PC. So I came up with the saying at that time, once you go Mac, you never go back because as soon as I used a Mac product one time, I was instantly hooked. So let's uh, go ahead and render this. I want to show you guys real time live what to expect. I'm not going to screen record. Let's see, yeah, we're looking at about a two minute render job. So I'll let it go through. We're going to be seeing what the new 12 core CPU, the 16 core GPU, and the 24 gigabytes of RAM can do. We would be honored if you would join us. So not bad. It could render a two minute and eight second video that's 4K and almost the same amount of length as the video is itself. Two minutes, 22 seconds. I rendered an 18 minute video that I'll throw up here with my PC last week and it took like 55 minutes almost an hour to render and when i'm when i'm moving around in the timeline and doing stuff like video transitions and stuff the thing like just really gets lagged up it's the uh <clears throat> the cpu and it takes 52 freaking minutes to render a 4k video that is 18 minutes long that is 80,000 kilobytes per second which is absolutely atrocious. This PC cost me $2,500 to build three years ago. I've got a MacBook Pro that I usually edit on, but I do like the big monitor. That's why I like to edit over here too. But my MacBook Pro can render the video three times faster. And in the timeline, when you're editing, if you're doing time-lapse, it doesn't stutter or, or hesitate where the PC does and it struggles with that. So the silicone in this this Apple is absolutely incredible and it's an absolute monster and a workhorse and I can't believe the size. Four inches. I mean look at that. That whole thing. I used to have an entire desktop computer and that's it which is pretty cool because this is just a basic like guest bedroom slash video game room slash computer room and it's it's nice the uh, the size that you can put that there and it works good it's it's a performance monster now there are some gripes that I'll go over with you guys real quick some a few things that I don't like I don't like the fact that for me to plug in my speakers the only audio outlet is on the front it should be on the back it's kind of a little goofy but you do have your Thunderbolt connections there's three of them you've got your HDMI out your power plug Ethernet input the other thing I really don't like who wants to come underneath the computer and use the power button? That's just goofy. The power button should be on the front, on the top, on the side, or even on the back. Like, why do you gotta tilt this thing up and hit the power button? Come on, Apple, like, that's just goofy. And it should have had, for the price, it should have uh, audio put on the front for the headphone as well as on the back. And just checking all the stats here while this thing is rendering live you can kind of see where it's at so we're not even using everything 
memory 9.9 .9 gigs memory used 19 we've got 24 physical gigs so it's a good thing for what we're doing that we upgraded the memory um, to the larger 24 gigabyte because it's utilizing it CPU it's working so yeah my uh, old computer was just maxed out with everything so this is going to be the right the right deal to get a get the job done so now we're rendering a bigger project which is four minutes and 16 seconds it's going to take about four minutes and 50 seconds to render and you notice you don't hear a single peep from the mac mini pro so i'm making a single sound I love the throwback if you guys have any old Apple products, that original boot up sound. To me that's pretty cool that they carry that over into this. It just makes it kind of fun. And the, my favorite thing about the computer, little Mac Mini, is the mobility. So sometimes I'll bring this into my living room and I pick myself up a wireless mouse from Logitech as well as a keyboard and I can take this thing anywhere. So I can bring it out to my garage, all you need is a power cord. And an HDMI cable it plugs into pretty much anything that you want to put it and any type of device you know TV monitor whatever so I'll sit out here I like sitting in my garage this is where I film a lot of my automotive YouTube stuff out here so I like to sit out here and just edit video and kind of hang out in here listen to music or I'll do it in the living room or in the office so I just really like the size the mobility the versatility of just quick plug-and-play with the desktop it was a huge hassle to disconnect that thing versus this I mean you literally just plug in your power cable and your HDMI and you're good to go I also picked up a little media card reader for SD cards and I love this keyboard and mouse if you guys are looking for a new setup that works great I'd highly recommend it I'll have them linked down below in the description and I know the new Mac mini m4 starts at 599 for the entry line product with myself, I wanted to go with the Pro Series because I'm doing some heavier video editing projects. And I'm sure if you're doing smaller projects in 1080p, the base 599 probably makes sense. But I upgraded to the, the 1399 M4 Pro because some of the projects that I work on, like if you look at this timeline here, if you go into the folder, it is um, 60 gigabytes, I think, or maybe 80 gigabytes in size. You can see that file that I was working on was 70 gigabytes in the folder, plus there was a few other deleted files. So it was probably to a 90, 90 gigabyte size project. I've done as big as a 160 gigabyte project on this, and it was able to seamlessly um, render the video and edit it with, with no issues, no hiccups. And the reason I bought the little bit more expensive is because I wanted to make sure I had enough processing power in that GPU, the CPU, and then the higher capacity RAM. So for me, this works perfect. I've done quite a few projects on it. I'll put it up on the screen to show you. Just an example. So this was recorded in 4K, 80,000 kilobytes a second. My timeline is um, 13 minutes long, and it took 13 minutes 26 seconds to render so it's basically like a one-to-one -one conversion so it doesn't matter the size of doing 20 minute videos it takes about 20 minutes so it saves a lot of time versus waiting an hour or like an hour and a half for my old pc definitely when i'm working and i'm in my workflow this thing can you know chew through work and get it get it posted and get it out of my mind which is what i like Definitely won't miss the fan noise. That's the huge plus with the new Mac Mini. But it's crazy. Go from this to that, and it's so much more powerful for video editing. This is my second project I've done. The computer system is absolutely fantastic for around $13.99 starting to get the Pro set up. It is leaps and bounds beyond the old school computer technology, Apple, silicone. I don't know how they do it, but they have done it, and I couldn't recommend it more. I will put a link in the description down below for you guys. 
make sure you check it out but this thing is going to be a absolute work beast and i'm so excited to keep creating content moving forward this is going to be the tool to help me easily accomplish that so anyway guys thanks for watching leave a comment and hit the thumbs up if you like the video we'll see you on the next one and if you want to see something else if you want me to do any other types of tests practical actual like tests for this thing for real world let me know leave it in the comments and i'll try to make that video too